Hey guys, so pretty big news today. Uh, the Motorola CEO just announced that they are going to have a 2 gigahertz phone that will be out before the end of the year. 2 gigahertz, guys, that is, that kind of just blows my mind. I'm um, just going to give you a little bit of perspective. Um, for example, you know, the iPhone 3GS has 600 megahertz. Guys, that's megahertz. That'd be 0. 0.6 gigahertz. Um, you look at maybe like the Nexus One. That's only 1 gigahertz. The current Motorola Droid. Again, 600 megahertz. Um, guys, you can even compare this to, you know, you bump up, uh, for example, most netbooks are 1.6. Um, guys, even my laptop computer, my dual-core laptop computer is only 2.1 gigahertz. Now, of course, gigahertz aren't the entire deal. I mean, there's, there's more to it than that, but it's certainly a pretty big factor. Um, so, assuming this phone doesn't have 30 to 45 minutes of battery life, it should be an absolute just monster. Um, so they talked a little bit about it, and they basically said that this is going to be the most technologically advanced phone that is possible right now. And guys, I, I gotta believe it. Um, so they said that it will have Android. Um, now, of course, they said that this will be out before the end of the year, so we don't know if it'll be Android 2.2, maybe 2.3, or some other later release. Depends on when it comes out. Um, guys, this thing is going to be a monster. Um, also, like the iPhone 4, it's going to have a gyroscope. So it's going to be definitely a really nice feature for you know being able to really have really precise motion controls. Should, just like on the iPhone, it's going to bring a whole new dimension. I'm really I'm really glad that phones are starting to bring this forward. Um, another thing is that it's going to have the Nvidia Tegra chip, guys. If you don't know what this is, this is probably it's kind of it's really coming around. It's going to be it's a very very powerful graphics uh, chipset where it'll allow you to have really, really powerful graphics, guys. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised with, you know, a 2 gigahertz uh, uh, CPU and the NVIDIA Tegra chip. It will probably be able to, you know, render much better. I mean, probably graphics close to, like, a PlayStation 2, maybe even beyond that. It's going to be really, really powerful. Um, now, with the Tegra chip, they said it will support full 10.1 flash, which is pretty obvious it will do that on a lot slower phones. But it'll do it with full hardware acceleration, too. So guys, hope I mean it might be able to you might be able to watch full flash videos and I mean this this phone's so you know just so powerful that it'll just be able to do it without having to strain. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean with specs like this, you could probably be watching three video three flash videos at a time, running ten apps. I mean it's it's just gonna be ridiculous. Um guys, so they didn't even actually say which phone, what it's gonna be called, any more details. But <laughs> talk about when they give details, they give details. Um, guys, there's a lot of speculation about whether or not this is going to be the Motorola Droid 2. Um, of course, the Droid came out last uh, late last year, um, but it's getting about time for a refresh. Um, you know, a lot of other phones have you know bumped past it. So, guys, if this is going to be the Motorola Droid 2, this is going to just be phenomenal. Um, you know, it might it might or may not. It also might just be a different kind of phone. We do know a Droid 2 is coming, but it might be, you know, maybe branded something else. It might not have the hardware keyboard. At any rate, guys, though, this is going to be an excellent phone. The main thing I have a problem with is probably the battery life is not going to be that great. But if they can get the battery life to be decent without, you know, it having to be four inches thick or whatever, <laughs> this is going to be a, just an excellent phone.